GTV, I'm Fringe, and this is the infamous Devil Man. Full Sam, Sam. <laughs> We've been trying to get hold of you geezer for so long today, this. We're happy to have you here. Yo, yeah, everybody says I'm a hard man to get hold of still, but here I am, innit? Better late than never. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> Telling me. So, uh, where did Devil Man come from? Well, originally it came from one manga cartoon back in the day, still some Chinese manga called Devil Man, you get me? Type it in on YouTube, yeah? And then I just thought, yeah man, that's a sick name, and I started writing bare devil lyrics and that. And then I just started to turn it into some comedian thing. So that's where it come from, not no devil worshipping thing, you get me? Fuck all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom, set, set. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay, so uh, Chinese tale, what kind of place were you in to write those lyrics? Right about now, cause I've always been brought up watching them kung fu films in it. So fucking, I was just on a mad kung fu one. I pictured myself on the top of a mountain with them long fucking clothes on, yeah. Opposite my opponent, you get me? And I was like, you dare to challenge me? Even my long kung pai chong thing now you belong to me. You know, one of them ones screwing up my face like one of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see. So uh, what inspired you to MC so dirty? Fuck, you know, life itself, and it? Everything in life's dirty, you get me? Mm. You wear your boxers for two days, they get dirty, <laughs> socks for a day. Talk about yourself, innit? Everything's dirty, bro. Nothing's really clean, you get me? Your, your car's dirty right about now, as clean as you think it is. <laughs> so that's why I spit dirty, you get me? Everybody likes it, because I'm a dirty bastard. That's, uh, that's my next one, are you a dirty bastard? <laughs> no, I don't know man, everybody's a dirty bastard in their own way, you get me? It depends on how you want to fucking look at it, you get me? Everybody's a dirty bastard, everyone loves fucking getting their stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go too deep. <laughs> Alright, so, how did uh, the Killer Peacash come about? Yo, fucking hell, caught me off guard with that one there, to be honest, bro. Well, obviously, nah, you know what, killer's my bedroom, you get me? Obviously, Web's that full force, the whole organisation, we're all bedrooms and that's still. Not no like real road beef or that, and you get me, we just thought, we will just put on a show, see who's the best at the clash thing, you get me? It was just one of them ones, so yeah man, it weren't like no official thing what, what made it come out and that. So uh, what about the pedo thing then? Basically, I just like put two and two together and thought, killer P, killer P, you know, it made sense, you get me? <laughs> That's what? a harsh tag man to put on someone. You know what, it weren't an official thing like I wanted everyone to go around calling him a pedo, because I know he ain't a pedo, you get me? But, Killer P, Killer P, though. It just made sense at the time, you get me? <laughs> okay, so um, basically you battled with Skepta, yeah? yeah. And time ago still, years ago, man. It was a fucking legendary clash, though. I was going to say, still one of the best. Everybody watches it now. I ain't even seen a clash like it. I think it was yesterday. I was watching one clash mm. with a school teacher and a pupil. Oh, yeah, that's don't fluff, in it. I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's the only clash what I think's on the level as the me and Skepta one. Trust me. So do you think he uh, stole your flow and got big from that? Or? Well, everybody knows that, and if you've listened to me from day, you'd know that the wow, and you're not ready, and way too. That's also obviously me, and it like, but fucking, I've just made them like go true with that, and it like it was a gift from me, and it they needed it, you know, one of them ones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So are you gonna come back and show the MCs on Lord of the Mics how it's done? Of course, man, if they call me for Lord of the Mike's form, there, man, ready, ready, as always, you get me, got bare bars for any MC, because nowadays I've been writing bars that can go for anybody, so if anybody tries it on the sneaks, yeah, I've got to lick them down one time, zoom, 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 bang, you know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Trilla, we just did um, an interview with him, and he said as an MC, he thought you were dead. Now, uh, you know, what are your views on that? I don't know, like, he probably meant, like, probably on the baseline scene or, you know what I mean? I don't think he meant, like, as a whole, because right now, man, I'm doing the thing. I'm not even saying that for myself. It's, like, people that say that for me, you know what I'm saying? So if he wants to think I'm dead, his definition of dead must be live. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. <laughs> so, uh, how did that start with Trilla? Fuck no, blood. Like, he must have, like, have something against me from the madman thing or something like that. So he was just calling up bare names and that. And then, like, he was sending for me, like, like, I don't know, like, he kept sending for me on occasions and that, and I thought, fuck it, man, I can't let it rest to get me. Mm. So I ripped bare bars for him, but I brought one out on that Killer P this year, and that done enough, so I don't even need to say the other ones. If he fucking says something back to that, then I've got the other ones ready, uh, ready, ready. Do you hear that, yeah? <laughs> okay, cool. So he said you were going to push Trailer off a 20-foot cliff. Do you not think that's a bit low? You need a bit higher low. <laughs> How dare you catch me off guard like that? I know it's not that high still, but at the time, 20 foot sounded correct with the bar, if you know what I mean. Like, 
If I said 100 foot, the flow wouldn't have been as nice, if you know what I mean. But a man can die off a 20 foot cliff, man. Yo, it depends how hard you push him down it. You get me? <laughs> Joke. So, um, what happens if a girl cheats on, on you? Would you really put heroin in the birthday cake? Or? Yo, there's heroin in the birthday cake. My bedroom traumatic said super glue and a sanitary towel, blood. <laughs> you <laughs> get me? Mate! <laughs> you get me? Super it's not glue and a sanitary towel. Seriously. Thing. There's loads of them we got for the cheaters, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, when you were up and coming, what artists were you looking at? To be honest, I've got to say, like, bass man and that, the drum and bass days, yeah. trigger and all that, and then, like, the rap, hip-hop, like, Americans and that, mm. them kind of things there, but other than that, I never really had any idols as a young guy. You get me? Yeah, yeah. So, um, what advice would you have for up-and-coming MCs? Just do your thing, you get me? Think out the box, don't sound like anyone else, and just don't give a fuck, you get me? If you're scared to say something, don't be scared. Just say, vong <laughs> set. Simple. <laughs> Simple, right. So, who are we looking out for at the moment in your eyes? To be honest, all I can say is like the Element family, you get me skinny guns, traumatic, fucking... Just pure, you know, just pure MCs running it right now, man. I don't even want to mention names, because bare MCs are going to be like, how could you never pick me up? Rare, rare, rare. But there's bare blood, you'll see. When you hear my mixtape that's coming out real soon, you'll hear the new talent, you get me? Cool, cool. So, um, who's the shittest overall bar killer P? Wow, I, I, I ain't even got the fucking the authority to say that shit there, you know what I'm saying? Like, if man's think man's shit, then it's shit, you get me? I think everybody's good, as long as they're doing their thing, but... I couldn't really say who's the shittest overall, because there's bare overall shit guys, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, long, like... Mm. Cool, so who's your favourite and who would you want to work with? Fucking hell, you caught me off guard again, my bread <laughs> That's what we do. You know what it is? There's nobody that I want to work with, but if somebody comes and says, yeah, let's do this thing and it sounds good, I'll do it, man. I've collabed with bare people, strange people, famous people, ugly people, everybody, man. You get me? Fuck it. Yeah, man. Okay, so we've got to the quick fire round. Fuck it, man. So, yeah. Uh, you ready for this? Oh, no, still, but... Yeah, okay, let's go. You know what you're doing, yeah? No. Okay, so I'm saying two things, you got to pick one of them. Like it's a fast thing. Black and white, I say. Yeah, black yeah, and yeah, white. yeah. Yo, that's simple to me. Okay, yeah. You yeah. think it is, but. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I think bring it on. Yeah, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Come, come. This you got to answer. Me. Reload and come again. <laughs> Keep it. How could you do that? Because they're like both on the same level. Yeah, I know, but you got to pick one. Nicki Minaj. Alright, uh, thriller or killer? Killer. Birmingham or Wolverhampton? Birmingham. Grind daily or grind black? Fuck you, man! I gotta be true to my bedroom still. Hold tight, fucking Jojo. Grind black, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, curry or Chinese? Full <laughs> set. <laughs> Standard. Drake or Chris Brown? Bro. Oh, sorry, man. Be brothers, how you know? Next, 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 next. Next, okay. Desi Eagle or Sauna? Desi. Yeah. Flash Bang or Nova Gap? Flash, um, shum, shum. <laughs> All right, this has been Devil Man Fringe, BIG TV. Full set. I know I've said it about a hundred times, but fuck it. Full set. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>